Watch this video with me. This guy is going to talk about superfluids and dark matter. But stick around to the end of the video because I want to show you something. Yeah, so I've been working on this theory in which uh, dark matter actually uh, forms a superfluid state. So we know of superfluids in the laboratory. The most famous example is liquid helium. It stays a fluid all the way to absolute zero temperature. At high enough temperature, it's bubbling, 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 and then you bring it down to the critical temperature, and all of, all of a sudden its manifestation becomes completely different. And that is quantum mechanics. At this point, the superfluid state is reached, and the helium atoms are no longer functioning as individual independent entities, but they're really in unison. So now you might think, okay, why would I think uh, that dark matter is this crazy type of stuff? All you need to have a, a superfluid state, people do it with atoms in the laboratory, you need two things. You need to have a lot of these guys, a lot of atoms, dense, densely packed, and you need very cold temperatures. And dark matter, not the wimps, but you know, some other form of dark matter can satisfy both those things. So we all grew up knowing that there's a vacuum in space, but physicists lately that dark matter is now a superfluid, meaning that it acts like water. Space is more like a liquid. Before I start my science experiment, I want to share something with you. Genesis 1-7, And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters that were above the firmament, and it was so. Let's do the experiment. 